All right, thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Walton Wall Art. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing these acrylic paint markers right over here. Uh, it's made by Emoki, right over here, uh, acrylic paint markers. There's 24 colors to this packet, so I was sent this and I'm gonna review it and see how I like it. I'm gonna use it for maybe bring it to comic book conventions where I can sign comic books. So uh, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Walton Wall. I'm a comic book artist from Marvel with these comics. And some of the comics that I worked on is for, for like here's some of the examples that I'm, I'm gonna be signing uh, today just to see how these uh, acrylic mark works and check out my website it's waldenwallart.com where you can see a lot of different things that I've worked on as well as links to this video and other videos and if you enjoy some of these videos please check out my patreon page uh, my patreon is patreon.com slash waldenwallart and over there there's a lot of different tiers that you can look at it there's also a mentorship tier so check that out so without further ado let's check out this um, review of these acrylic markers here from Emoki right over here check it out there we go now it's in focus okay so I'm gonna put this right here and we're gonna see what uh, this product is I'm gonna open the box up and there's there's a good amount of uh, it's like a 24 pieces here uh, two to three millimeters in size and here's the box and right over here, we have all these different colors. And then a lot of times when I'm doing uh, any color work, I like to put them in some kind of color order first so I can easily uh, accessible. So I'm just gonna quickly put all these in color order, make sure uh, everything looks good. And quickly get all the lightest colors to the darkest colors. And quickly I do that, just this, and some grays here. Looks like this is some gold, black on this side, purples. Okay, there we go. So we're pretty close to having all the colors. Can okay, put this on this side and put the blue maybe over here. Okay, and red. I'm just gonna put the red down here because it's such a stronger color. So this is my color spectrum for these markers. Okay, let's uh, look at one of the markers. So it says graffiti, three millimeters. This one says three millimeters. I think all of them says three millimeters. Let's take a look to see if they're all three millimeters. Yeah, they're all three millimeters. So some, I, I think from the box here, it says two to three millimeters. So maybe that's like another uh, packaging, but let's take a look at the inside. There's instructions to, to shake it and then to see what does it say. See, shake the pen before using, press the nib several times vertically until the ink excludes, uh, exudes and cover the cap tightly after use. Okay, so here it is. It looks kind of like those um, those other brand, um, but we're gonna try this. So let's see, I'm gonna sign some of these books right over here, uh, Strike Force Motory for IDW. These are some of the books that I've worked on for uh, IDW here. Uh, issue 54321. Uh, another book I worked on is Justice League Dark, right over here. Issue 32, uh, Most Diversity, Society of Heroes. Another book that I worked on, Superman, Wonder Woman, and also another book I worked on. And then here's a Justice League Dark book uh, that I've done. Okay, uh, I like this uh, lenticular cover where it changes image. Okay, and here's uh, Catwoman issue one, Future's End. Okay, and this one also changes cover. So sometimes I'm shining a Sharpie, you can re can't really see it because it's black or gold. So I'm gonna try using acrylic paint markers to see how, how those signs. So I'll put these aside first, and then I'll put some of these maybe up here. And then I'm gonna grab a comic board uh, just to test the colors out. So I'm gonna see, let's use red, and let's shake it first. So I'm gonna shake up the colors. So there is a ball bearing inside. I'm just gonna hold hold a few and shake shake a bunch of them at the same time. So it's not gonna be, a, aside from doing all the coloring, I'm also gonna be doing some, um, uh, besides uh, doing some signing, I'm also gonna be doing some coloring. So let's try using the, try using the red first. So I'm gonna uh, push it down just to see how it works. Get it over here. So it takes a little bit, so now I see the colors are starting to flow. Press it a few times. I'm using a comic board because it's thicker. You don't want to use like a printer paper. So it's nice and vibrant in color. So I do like that. So I'm going to sign this one just to see how it looks. I'm going to sign it right down over here. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, this works 
this signature with this marker works so much better on on this type of a cover this lenticular cover i'm gonna put that aside right now it looks like it's still dry so it's gonna take a bit of time for it to dry put this aside i'm gonna choose choose another color to sign this book over here um justice league dark uh, this one's red what's the contrast what's a good color for purple maybe yeah let's use purple because yeah i think purple's uh, well let's use something a little bit lighter let's use green Green's a good color. I'm gonna shake this up. You know what? Let's use yellow. Not a lot of times we use yellow and it's that noticeable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do something fun. Okay, right here, instead of having all one color, I'm gonna use a variety of colors. So I got red activated. I'm gonna use uh, all the colors that I can. I'm just gonna go from um, like a dark color to a lighter color. So I got red activated. Let's activate a few colors first. I'm gonna use yellow. Okay. I'm going to press it down a few times to activate it just to make sure it's working and then I think I'm going to sign each letter with um, with a different color just just to make it cool okay so I'm going to press it a few times it does take a little bit of time these are brand new and never used it before so I'm going to give it a try right now okay so the color is slowly you shake it make sure you put the cap on when you shake it shake it here okay now I'm going to press it a few times to get it started Okay, I see the yellow is starting to go down. Just press down a little bit. So um, press down a few times until you see some of the yellow coming out. Okay, I'm still pressing down. It takes, it takes a little bit of time. Move. Okay, it's starting to come out. There you go, now, now the yellow is coming out. So it's a really bright uh, yellow over here. I'm gonna activate some of the other colors. I'm gonna use uh, purple. I'm just gonna grab a few more of them and shake it up at the same time. <laughs> this, is, this is quite a workout. <laughs> like you're shaking the colors like this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna open all three of them and then you start um, pressing down on them all at the same time. It's just to make this uh, go faster. So I have the three colors. I'm gonna press it down here. Actually, it's, it's, it's a little bit more work pressing down uh, three of them. It's like, okay, let's get it started quickly, quickly. So this takes, this does take a, okay, I see the color coming out. Okay, here's purple. Purple's flowing out, blue's flowing out. Green is starting to flow out. Okay, now purple's flowing out. I'm just gonna cap the purple first. Okay, the blue is flowing out. You see. Blue's starting to flow out. Okay, blue's flowing out. I'm gonna cap that first. Okay, let's get this green going. Let's get this green color going. Okay. Some of them flows out quicker. Some of them takes a little bit of time. So maybe if I press down on it, it will be just a little bit faster. Shake it a few more times. Okay, press down on it. Okay, getting it started uh, takes a little bit. Uh, but at least the uh, ink is starting to flow out. I see a little bit, so I'm just gonna press down and see what happens. While I'm pressing down on this, I'm gonna use pink. Shake pink here. What are the colors that I haven't picked yet? Uh, let's use this. Uh, I think those red, yellow, blue, the primary colors. Uh, at least I got the primary colors going on. Okay, now green is starting to flow right over here. There we go, green. And one more color. Let's use one more color from the spectrum to do the signing. Okay, we got red, yellow, green, primary colors. We got red, yellow, blue, the primary colors. Let's see, let's try to get orange there. So we have all the colors. Because the primary colors, you get red and yellow, and you mix those together. You get green, you get red and blue mixed together. You're gonna get uh, purple, red, and blue, and then yellow and blue. You get yellow, blue gets green. Blue and red gets purple, and yellow and red gets orange. So we just use these six colors. Okay, now we're gonna try it. Activate it, activate it. There's gotta be a faster way to activate this. Okay, shake it, I'm gonna cap it up and shake it again. Shake it again. Okay, now we're gonna see if it works. Maybe if I just leave leave it here and just let it press down and it maybe oh just 
start flowing. Okay, flow quickly. I guess that's the only uh, drawback side. Um, when you're trying to start it uh, new and now starting to flow. When you're starting it new and then you're trying to get it flowing, that's the time it takes a little bit. But at least that's a good thing. Your, your, your acrylic uh, brushes, uh, markers aren't getting dried before shipped to you. So here you know that it's gonna be working. So, so here's orange. Okay, finally I got all of these colors. So these are the colors that I have here. I'll, I'll get to those uh, when I can. Okay, so now that I have this color, I'm gonna sign. See, so they're almost dry. It just takes a little bit of time for dry. So that means I can do color blending on, on this too. So I'm gonna sign my name uh, one letter at a time on this book just to see how it's gonna turn out. So I'm gonna follow the color maybe. See, how many letters are on my name? W-A-L-D-E-N-W-O-N-G, 10 letters. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe two letters. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, you know, let's see what should be red, orange, yellow, and then green, just just to so have some kind of order. We're gonna sign the name this way. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's see how this is gonna turn out. Okay. W a L D E Oh sign it off camera D L D E N W O N G There we go My signature with different pins Okay I'm gonna try that again with the with Superman here, let's see how the how vibrant the colors are. I'm gonna sign my name right over here. We try to try going in the opposite direction this time. Let me go here. Okay. W A. Make sure I'm in camera. W A L D E N W O And G. Okay, I think it looks better on the the black, the darker part. So when I start to color, I'm gonna start uh, using uh, the pin to pick um, like certain areas of the comic book when I'm doing some of the coloring. But I do like that the colors are vibrant, so that that works out. Um, so if you see me next time, I'm gonna bring some of these markers to a comic book convention, and I'm gonna be uh, signing my name on those. So this one, I'm gonna try using. Let's try using another color. Okay, because we have so many colors over here. Let's use this light blue color over here. This light blue, and then maybe a pink color, like a hot pink, this is a hot pink. Okay, so I'm gonna get those activated. And let's see what other colors. Maybe this fluorescent green color. Let's try these uh, pastel colors over here. So I'm gonna shake, shake these colors. Okay, and then now I'm gonna activate them. I'm gonna open up all three of them at the same time and then see how those work out. Okay, let's see. Activate them like this. Okay, hopefully this time it was a little bit quicker. I'm gonna keep it pressed a little bit. Well, it looks like if I press it and hold it a little bit, it flows out a little bit quicker. So I don't really need to pump them. I could just um, press down and then uh, let it flow. Okay, so now, now all of them are working. Okay, so I'm gonna cap this tightly, cap this tightly, cap this tightly. Put my color thing aside over here. And then I'm gonna color this one in like a fluorescent green. Let's see, I'm gonna sign my name uh, right over here. Ooh, nice. Okay, that, that looks pretty good over here. The signature, nice, nice and uh, nice and fluorescent and bright, uh, very legible. I think it's better than using a Sharpie. Now I should mention, some of the comic book covers, they have this uh, coating on it right, where it's really reflective, like a glossy stock. If you're using a, a Sharpie, usually that kind of beats up and it doesn't really uh, sign that well. Like some of the comic books, they're more like a paper stock, whereas this one has a, a gloss stock. Uh, it would, Sharpies have a hard time signing this. You, you see some artists, they'll kind of like rub the uh, cover like this for a little bit and then just to try to get it uh, a little bit um, signable. So we're gonna use pink because we have 
uh, this character right over here, uh, more of a female color. So I'm just, I just randomly grab pink and we're it right here. Okay, let me get this activated a little bit more. It looks like it needs more. Just press it down a few times. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, so with the glossy coat, it's still a little bit soft. The, uh, the color is not really that noticeable, um, but we're gonna try uh, some of the uh, non-glossy cover. So let's see, I'm gonna use the same pink on this one that doesn't have the gloss. I'm gonna sign like right over here and we're gonna see how that looks. Okay, this one's the, uh, the hot pink again. The pink isn't as vibrant as I like. I mean, it's vibrant on when I'm painting on a white color, but on the comic book color, because of the artwork, uh, it's not really uh, that noticeable here. Okay, we're gonna take a little look at, I'm gonna put these aside so it doesn't dry out on me. We're gonna use, the, uh, well, we use blue red. Let's use red over here. This one, we're signing with red. Let's use blue, blue on top of blue. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so blue on top of blue looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put this one aside here. I'm gonna sign First Strike with this. This is Optimus Prime. This is some of the G.I. Joe characters, Flint, Scarlet Witch. Um, that that looks like, uh, who is this? Maybe, hope, maybe it's Barbecue. We got Micronauts over here. So First Strike for IDW. These are some of the characters from toys, uh, one of the books I worked on. Uh, you can also get the graphic novel, which is in stores now. So I'll add links below the video description if you want to also uh, get to get the graphic novel for first strike. And some of the artwork, I'll show you some of the artwork that I've done. So right over here. Okay, so these are some of the characters, the Transformers and G.I. Joe characters. Uh, so it was kind of nice. Uh, growing up, I worked on Transformers and G.I. I mean, I, I bought the toys, so it's kind of nice to be able to work on the comic. I'm gonna grab yellow this time, uh, sign it right here on the black area. Ooh, that, look, that looks nice. Yeah, the yellow over here looks nice uh, on the dark area. Okay, and we're gonna put this, put this aside and then we're gonna Color this one first strike, uh, Ultimus Prime. So awesome, so awesome. Uh, let's use purple. Uh, did I activate purple? Okay, we're gonna try to activate this purple, just just cause, and then I'm gonna see if I can activate it a little bit quicker by pressing down instead of see how this works out. Press down and just hold it. Press down and just hold it and. A little bit press down a few more times and then now i'm gonna let the ink flow okay so yeah so this is an easier method so if you have some of these uh acrylic markers just press down and hold it and just just let it flow out test it a little bit uh, make sure that it works and then i'm gonna sign right over here I'll, usually when i sign comic books i'll try to find an area that i can um, not cover up the artwork that much so over here seems like a good place okay right here so this one this one turned out pretty good and put this one aside, okay. And then we're gonna sign two more books. Last two issues of First Strike right over here. I'm gonna use maybe yellow. I think I tried yellow already. Let's use orange. See what happens if I type uh, use orange and then sign my signature right here in the middle. Yeah, so some colors, depending on what colors you're using and where in the artwork, uh, it can be very vibrant. Okay, and one more. I think I signed all of them already. Yeah, here we go. So let's take another look at all the signatures. Okay, and all the different colors. This one, the pink, I'm not too uh, happy with the pink here. The pink is kind of light here. Uh, that could be because of the, the different color uh, background. But I, but I do like all these other colors over here. Yeah, and, and it's still, it's still kind of wet, like the W, W-O over here. The red is taking a little bit longer to dry. So I'm gonna set that aside for a little bit. And then we're, we have this one right over here. This is the purple. And it looks like it is taking a little bit of time for it to dry. So I'm gonna give it uh, time to dry before I start putting them away. All these markers here, I will put all these aside. And there you go, let me show you uh, those markers once again. So if you wanna order some for yourself, feel free to order them in here. And then I'm gonna see how you know, just for fun of it, I want to see how color blending will look. Uh, if I was going to color blend some of these. So if I had, let's, uh, let's put this over here. 
Okay, and if I use yellow first, let's try yellow first. If I was coloring in yellow, and then now I want to slowly blend to the orange. Let's see how let's see how that looks if I blend the colors. I'll paint the orange first, and I'll slowly blend to the colors. So it is bend it, blending pretty good. And what if I add um, pink right next to it? I'll start the pink here. And I'll slowly blend to the orange. And then I can take some of the orange and blend backwards just to see how, how that looks. Okay, so yeah, so you can blend uh, pretty well. So it's not that bad. This. There, there, there you go. There you have it. Okay, so that's the some of the colors that you, we've used. Uh, some of the signatures that I've signed in some of these books over here, uh, depending on the color, uh, some colors are vibrant. Of course, uh, you want to pick the contrasting color uh, for your signature over the artwork that you're working on. Uh, here's another one in purple on a dark background. This is kind of nice. Here's blue on a blue background. Okay, so that's pretty clear over here. Put this away. And there you have it. That's all the markers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my website, it's waldowildart.com. On my website, there's a lot of things you look at, including this video uh, with all these markers that we just talked about. Um, also check out my Patreon page. My Patreon is patreon.com slash And if there's any of these supplies that you want, uh, such as some of the books that I worked on, uh, check out my website where there's links to um, different graphic novels that I worked on, as well as um, these uh, gra um, acrylic uh, paint pins, if you want to order a set of these. Uh, um, links are below. I'll add all those links uh, below this video in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, hit that like button and comment. Anytime you comment, I'll make it a point to respond to everyone as best as I can. So take care, enjoy, dry, and give these markers a try. At least um, I, for me, it worked out pretty well. I'm going to be bringing these out to uh, go to different comic book conventions. I'll be signing comic books that you bring to me. So if you have comic books that you want me to sign, I'll be more than happy to sign them. And I don't charge for signatures. That's the that's the one thing I, I don't charge. Uh, I know a lot of artists out there do charge for signatures. I never charge for signatures. So hopefully I'll see you at a future Comic Con. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye. And I ordered this on Amazon. So any of you who wants to order the same pin, uh, the acrylic uh, pins, uh, you can order from the Amazon links uh, below. So I'm going to open this up. Open this up right here. I cut it open just to take a look at it. So in here, there is a... Thank you card, which is kind of nice. Uh, a thank you card over here it says, "Thanks for giving our small family-run business a shot. Your orders and reviews matters more than you can imagine." Sincerely, Jess. So there was a little thing from Jess, and right here, here's an instructions on how to use the pen. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at these instructions. I like that there's a little thank you card. Um, I've never actually bought a product that has a little thank you card in it. So this is a nice touch. Uh,